wanted to do a video um, off of some elbow car variations. Uh, as I've been working with more and more baseball players, I've been trying to kind of take the cars and kind of change them just a little bit so that we can be a little bit more specific for certain guys. Um, let's start off with just kind of going over the basics. So when we're doing this, what we're looking to have happen is as much rotation, so supination and pronation from the elbow. While we're thinking about that, we're gonna think about the X on our forearm. So for example, there's a lot of risk going on, but you might not be getting as much rotation coming from your elbow. So what I want you to do is really think about that X is moving. So just to keep it from simple to complex, we're gonna start off here. I'm actively trying to turn the X that way and towards the ground, and then I'm gonna go ahead and flip it all the way over. And what you should have seen is you should have seen it looks like I flipped over myself instead of some people that are limited are gonna look like this with some weird stuff going on with their hand. So there's the rotational aspect. Then with the car, we're gonna add flexion and extension. So just to go over the standard one, as I come up, I'm consistently trying to turn out. I should end up outside of my shoulder with a healthy elbow. Now when I flip that X over, I should end up inside and I should be able to fully straighten my arm out, which you'll see with a lot of baseball guys will have trouble with. Now that X is gonna go ahead and reverse directions because we're just gonna show you a full rep in both directions. And now I'm actively trying to turn the X towards the ground this way as I come up and ideally I should end up inside of my shoulder a little bit. Now when I flip over, I'm really visualizing the rotation coming from the elbow, consistently trying to turn out as I straighten all the way out. So there's one standard rep just so you guys can build off of that. Now what I want to show you is the one that's a little bit more specific to baseball, like I was saying. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our arms by our side. And you think when a baseball player throws, he's going to end up throwing from somewhere around this shoulder angle. We also think that baseball players are very common actually get in pain and have elbow injuries. So the idea of being able to move your elbow really well here is going to be pretty beneficial. So just starting off with one, we're going to have the arm straight out to the side. Now my elbow really shouldn't move up, down, or forward, because remember, we're just rotating, flexing, and extending. So from here, I'm gonna actively try to get that X to turn that way. This bicep and this X should not be moving because that shoulder, maybe even a little bit of scat, so I should try to maintain that. From there, as I actively turn all the way out, I'm gonna go ahead and flex. My hand should be slightly that way behind my shoulder. Now when I come through, I'm gonna rotate through and come all the way out to that straight arm. A lot of people are gonna struggle. Stop here, make sure that you lock out. Flip all the way over, continually trying to rotate without this X showing too much rotation either back or forward. Once I get to there, flip all the way through and then come to there. From the side view, you should see that it should stay relatively in line. So as I come to here, rotating, let's go the opposite direction. So say if I was to flip over like this, I would go ahead and curl to here. You can see how my hand is inside. From there, I'm gonna flip over. You can see all my hands outside, and I'm all the way down. Okay. So there's a little elbow car variation for baseball really keeping as much rotation in the joint as possible, whether we're talking about shoulder or elbow, but really being able to incorporate some of those specific angles is really gonna carry directly over to your throwing. Let's give that a try.